Cyborgs, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to convert ticks to units. First, ticks to inches, then ticks to turns in degrees. So, first we're going to start with ticks to inches. So, in this video we're going to be using the standard 4 inch wheel. So, we know that, four that 1440 ticks are per rotation of the motor. And so, if you want to know the per rotation of the wheel, it's basically 4 multiplied by pi, which is the, the formula for circumference. And then we would divide that by 1440. So basically, over here, we have 4 pi is over 1440 ticks. So this gives us the essential number this gives us the essential ticks per rotation. So now, when we first used decoders, we tested out and we got found out that 6,875 ticks are in five feet. So, so basically, if we want to find the amount of inches, the math is simple. All we do is 6,875 divided by 5 times 12. Which should give you 115 ticks per inch. And this is, a, this is about, um, so if you want to know the amount of rotation it takes, it is approximately um, eight hundredths of a rotation. So now you know the amount of ticks per inch and the amount of rotation this takes to make one inch. To talk about how to convert ticks to turns, specifically we are going to be using nine. We're going to be converting the ticks for a ninety degree turn. So first, what we do is um, you have to find the distance between your left wheel and your right wheel. So our our wheels are 15 inches apart. So in order to make this diagram clear, I'm going to draw a circle. So basically, if we want to find the area, I mean the, the ticks for one, qu one quarter of this, so this, since this is is 15 inches, the diameter is 15 inches, we multiply that by pi to get 15 pi. So this whole thing is the diameter is 15 pi, but since we only want to, want to find the one quarter of it, we do 15 pi divided by four. And this is x this, from this to here, which represents the amount of ticks used to turn 90 degrees. So, remember when we said over here, 4 pi over 1440 ticks? So, you, this information is going to be useful here. So, you want to set up your equation like this. So as, we, as I said, x is the tick used to turn 90 degrees. And so we just, we do the math. So one thing about this equation is that you don't have to worry about pi here because as you can see, pi ends up canceling. And then now to isolate x and divide by 4, we get x is equal to 1350 ticks per 90 degrees. So um, you can actually use this in any way you want. Like if you want to find the amount for 1 degree, all you would do is you would do 15, you would to find only 1 degree would be 15 pi 
over 360. If you want to find the amount for 360 degrees, then it's pretty much this number right here. So yeah, this is how you could this is how you convert ticks to units. This is the math close up just so you guys can see it easier. This is ticks to inches. And this is ticks to turns. Pause if you need to. And this would be the diagram. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been FTC Team Chocolate Cyborgs, signing out.